Southern States Wrestling returns to the Farmer's Market Pavilion, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. Sunday, April 16th with a bell time of 6.15 p.m. Two and a half hours of action featuring the stars of Southern States Legacy, plus returning stars and some debuts. Make your plans now to be with us Sunday, April the 16th, Kingsport, Tennessee, Farmer's Market Pavilion. Hey, Andy, what is... What is it, Wayne? What is that wretched smell? It smells like... It smells like Bruiser Bob. Oh, no, 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 Bruiser Bob's not here. It's just a trash can, but I could understand uh, why you got confused. Oh, my goodness. You know what this trash can reminds me of? The trash can match that we got April 16th. Bruiser Bob versus the Dreamweaver Wayne Moxie. I don't remember what he tried to do to you. Him and his little lackey. His little own personal meat bag. Wait, you know what? You know what his name is? You know what I gave him a nickname? Jason Brisket. And Brisket <laughs> Bob, the Brisket Brothers. That's right. <laughs> that hey, good. tell him about good. it, Andy. You know what? Wayne Moxie, if Jason the Brisket Blight tries to get in the way of your trash can match... I'll be right there in your corner to take care of it. You know what? I really appreciate that. Hey, thank you so much. No <sighs> problem. Get the truck out of my face! Hello again, everybody. Bo James here with another big episode of Southern States Wrestling Legacy as we are only two weeks away from the big event at the Farmer's Market Pavilion 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee, and things are shaping up to be wild and crazy. You've already heard from Andy and Moxie as they're getting ready for the trash can match. We're going to talk about that more on this program. You're going to hear from the heavyweight champion, Murphy Costigan, as he's got some words. You're going to hear from Daniel Richards, as he's got a message for me and some other people. We're going to bring you up to date on a match that was announced on our social media this week that the fans asked for it. And Miss Celeste demanded it. She wanted a return match for the Southern States Ladies Championship. And that's going to happen on the 16th of April in Kingsport, Tennessee. Tickets on sale now through Eventbrite. It's going to be a big night. The 32nd anniversary was a huge night for us. And we're following it up with this big night of action. Two and a half hours of action. Tickets on sale now. As I said, advanced VIP front row They'll get in before everybody else so they can pick out their front row seat. They can visit the concession stand. They can meet the wrestlers. Advanced general admission will be allowed in a few minutes behind them, and tickets will be on sale at the door. What is remaining? So make sure you get your tickets so you can get in there and get the best seat. You can hit Southern States Wrestling on Facebook. Hit the event page, and the link is right there. So make sure you get them. We've already heard about it. Trash can match. Pinfalls do not count. Submission does not count. The only way to win this match is to beat your opponent down so bad you can drag them out of the ring and stuff them in a trash can. This is something that Bruiser Bob has started as a celebration after he wins. He puts his opponent in a trash can. Wayne Moxie has had enough of it. Wayne Moxie has had enough of Bruiser Bob and Jason Blythe, and so has Andy Optimal. What we want to do right now is we're going to take a look back through the last few weeks already, these four men have a lot of history with each other, and it's hoping to be settled on the 16th of April right there in Kingsport, Tennessee. But let's take a look at some history between Jason Blythe, Bruiser Bob, Wayne Moxie, and Andy Optimal. What did you say? Uh, name? He told me not to answer any questions. Uh, you meet back! Do, do you uh, at least want to know where you're going sir uh, I just told you he told me not to answer uh, any questions Boom. get out of my way first knife in shot and another one Moxie needs to follow these moves up stop once again big elbow right to the back of the head Bob going for something here Moxie fighting Trying to get free. Once again, able to create separation. Big right hand. He's fighting fire with fire now. And another one right to the jaw. Bruiser Bob finds himself in some trouble now. Nice backdrop for Moxie. 
Wayne Moxie on fire. He's got it together. Going for his sweet dreams. And right back to the eyes goes Bob. He is taking all the shortcuts now. What's Bob going for here? Says it's time to finish it. Moxie able to block it. Able to reverse it. Bob trying to get loose. Elbow. Oh, get out, Jason. Oh, Moxie sends Cruiser Bob into Jason Blythnell. He trips him up. Could this do it? There's the three count. Bob kicked out, but Jason, but Wayne Moxie got the three count. Overpowering, not only physically, but verbally as well. Yeah, you know, and, and I feel like every time we see Boozer Bob and Jason Blythe here on, on Southern States Wrestling Legacy on the program, we we end up with more questions. You know, we still don't know who he is. We don't really know the nature of their relationship. Now they've got a, tr a full-size trash can at ringside. You know, I, I, I just, I'm baffled by these two guys. Yeah, I tell you what. Oh my, what an impact right there. This could do it. He's in, he's covered, and he got the three count. Bruiser Bob right there takes this one, and uh, man, it's kind of a mercy killing for Jay Scott. Absolutely, and that's a, that's something that I overheard Bob saying he was working on. He calls it the Bruiser Bomb, and, and he, he just planted Jay Scott with it, and, and nobody's going to get up from that. Wait a minute now. This match is over here, but we've got a little extracurricular activity as Jay Scott's been dumped out to the floor. You got to give credit to Andy Optimal for a tremendous contest, a great fight that he put up in that matchup right there. It doesn't look like it's over, Dallas. He's not being. He's not done yet. Well, we've seen this recently on Legacy. After a victory, Bruiser Bob and Jason Blythe aren't quite finished with their opponents, and we've got that that garbage can at ringside. I think I think I've got a pretty good idea where this is headed, Joe. Yeah, no place good. As yeah, there's there's stuff and Andy into the trash can here. This young man, all right, Wayne Moxie is out. Wayne Moxie is out. He's not gonna have it. That's fantastic. Wayne Moxie looking out for Andy Optimal, and uh, thank goodness he came out here and put a stop to that. That's just disgusting. You got to hand it to Wayne Moxie. You know, he, he just competed in a match tonight, and he's right back out here, right back out here for the greater good, helping a young man like Andy Optimal. Those two certainly no strangers. But Bruiser Bob and Jason Blythe, that reign of terror is only just beginning. April 16th! <laughs> what a day it's going to be, Jason! For I get the opportunity to go out against you, Dreamweaver Wayne Moxie. But oh, it ain't going to be just any ordinary fight. It, oh, I will. It's going to be a trash can match. <laughs> Tell them what we're going to do, Jason. Well, what else do you do with the trash can other than take out the trash? That's right. Exactly. That's right. Exactly what he told us to. Who? Oh. Doesn't matter, Jason. Look, the point is, on April 16th, Wayne Moxie, you and me in a trash can match where I'm going to stuff you inside that trash can and you're going to be cruising for cruising. I was recently looking at the 2023 census for Bruiser City, and it says there's only one person that is a resident there, and his name is Alan. Well, you might know him as Bruiser Bob. That's right. Bruiser Bob, the architect of Bruiser City, has been running real shot over Southern States Wrestling for the past few months. Ever since I came to SSW, ever since you came to SSW, You've been envious of me, Bob, so much that you started putting people in trash cans. And now, now you've challenged the Dreamweaver to a trash can match. Well, that little city that you reside in, Bob, that you built up is about to be torn down by yours 
truly. And you've been sleeping on the Dreamweaver Wayne Moxie for far too long. And when you snooze, you lose. Dreamweaver Wayne Moxie has been playing some mind games and trying to make some humorous comments to Bob about this event, but he better realize this, and I think he does, but he better realize that Bob and Jason are out to hurt Wayne Moxie and anybody else that gets in their way. This is going to be a tremendous match. It's going to be wild and crazy. I can tell you that just from the history with these guys that you just saw. Somebody is going in a trash can on the 16th of April. Will it be Bruiser Bob? Will it be Wayne Moxie? How will Jason Blythe play into all of this? How will Andy Optimal play into all of this? The only way to find out is to be there on the 16th of April at the Farmer's Market Pavilion. When we come back, we're going to tell you about some more big matches signed for Sunday, April the 16th in Kingsport. Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Tom Pritchard, head coach for Jacobs Pritchard Wrestling Academy. And while some people will be looking for wrestling schools near me, that search may not be exactly what you're looking for, it may not be the right fit. Here at JPWA, we train five nights a week, pretty much four hours a night. And we work on character developments, promos, in-ring skills. We cover all aspects of professional wrestling. So you may find searching for wrestling schools near me might turn up a lot of names. You might want to remember two nights a week, three nights a week, versus five nights a week, covering all aspects of professional wrestling. Give the Jacobs Pritchard Wrestling Academy a try. Check it out. Go to our website, jpwrestlingacademy.com. Find out. It just might be the right fit for you. Southern States Wrestling returns to the Farmer's Market Pavilion, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. Sunday, April 16th with a bell time of 6.15 p.m. Two and a half hours of action featuring the stars of Southern State's legacy, plus returning stars and some debuts. Make your plans now to be with us Sunday, April the 16th, Kingsport, Tennessee, Farmers Market Pavilion. Marty Clay, you think that you're just the luckiest lad in the land, don't you? Because you somehow managed to luckily get by our man Lawrence here. You think that that means you have a chance to take this title away from me? Lot, if you believe that, then you're off your trolley. Because as of this moment, right now as we speak, Daniel Richards is meeting with our legal team. He is meeting with members of the cabinet of the presidency to ensure there are no loopholes in the contract for this match and there will be no repercussions for what happened at the 32nd anniversary event. Marty Clay, you are the last of the Appalachian studs to stand up against me. I put down the Dreamweaver Wayne Moxie, I put down Sensational Wayne Atkins, and you, you wee little clay, you will be no different. Whether it is a raise of my fist or the lift of my knee, the result will be the same. Because once you are finished, once I beat you, there will be no question as to who is in control of Southern States Wrestling, and there will be no question that it is liberation for all. There were some more words from the heavyweight champion, Lord Murphy Costigan, as Daniel Richards is trying to get the contract changed for the 16th of April where I cannot be in Marty Clay's corner. If they're so confident and he can do it on his own, why are they worried about me sitting out there to keep an eye on Daniel Richards? Daniel Richards also going to be in action that night against Andy Optimal. We saw Andy in the first segment, and we've heard from Andy and Moxie about that situation. But Andy has a big-time opportunity coming up on the 16th of April right there in Kingsport. Rookie year. Young Andy has already got some impressive wins. So what we want to do now is listen to this rant from the progressive liberal Daniel Richards, then we're going to see a little bit of action from Andy Optimum. We're going to hear from Andy as he's getting ready for the biggest match of his young career. Sunday, April 16th in Kingsport, Tennessee, yours truly, the progressive liberal Daniel Richards, will be riding his blue wave right there to the farmer's market. And what's become so typical of all my trips there to Kingsport is that these so-called Tennessee studs 
and their cohort, the King of Kingsport, Handsome Bo James, they're going to be up to their old tricks again. First on the docket, they've got my man, the heavyweight champion of Southern States Wrestling, Murphy Costigan. He's defending his title against who, you might ask? Well, you guessed it, Marty Clay. Well, I wouldn't have guessed it, because last I checked, Marty Clay, you couldn't beat me. I pinned you one, two, three, fair and square, and then you couldn't score a pinfall victory over my bodyguard, Lawrence. So, the way I see it, you are completely undeserving, but of course, you're friends with Bo James, so I guess that's okay, and you can just skip, uh, hop over everyone in line, and you get a title match. All right. And then what's worse is Bo James has uh, used his so-called manager's license, which I can't even verify that he actually has, and he says he's going to be watching me. Well, no, Bo James, I actually do have a manager's license, unlike you, I believe, and I am going to be watching you, Bo, because you like to stick your nose into our business. We're the good guys in this situation. You just keep making up the rules as you go along. But so I'm going to keep my eye on you because I want Murphy to have a fair match. And speaking of fair matches, there's an eight man King of the Mountain match that myself and Lawrence are going to be in. And of course, you guys are trying to stack the odds to prevent one of us from winning, namely me. And I don't know, but nice try on that. You've got this boy. So you've got me in a match. Prior to me competing against seven other guys, so great, that's fair. We'll just keep stacking the odds against the progressive liberal, the Democrat. So typical of right-wingers. So you've got me wrestling Andy Optimal. Well, Andy Optimal, I've, been, I've looked at you, and you look like a child. And I don't know what gives, makes you think that you belong in the ring with me. I'm a grown man. You look like a boy. I've been on national TV. I'm a star. I've been viral. You don't even know what the viral means because I don't even know that you passed high school. But for some reason, you get to step in the ring with me. So that's great because people are going to see what the liberal agenda looks like without any infringement whatsoever. I'm going to drop you. Then I'm going to win that either myself or Lawrence are going to win that eight man match. And then at the end of the day, you people are going to see my way is the only way. And then you will be liberated. Talked about it the last time we saw him in tag team action here on, on Legacy. Doesn't seem afraid to be in there against more experienced, uh, intimidating competitors. So he, he's, he's in there and he's standing his ground and he's putting up quite a fight, Joe. No doubt about it. Conley with a nice suplex right there. In for cover. Got a two count on that one. As uh, Conley's calling for it to end. He just says he's going to put him out here. As uh, that didn't work out. Uh, Andy Optimal behind this man. Rolled him up here. Got him covered. Got him hooked. And got him. He pinned him. Oh, my. Are you kidding me? Andy Optimal just pulled off the upset of the night right here. What an incredible effort from Andy Optimo, a big victory over Jeff Connolly. And, man, you know, the powers that be here in Southern States Wrestling definitely saw that. Andy Optimo's future is very bright. They say to win any fight, you need both the physical and the mental strength. And I know, Daniel Richards, you possess both the mental and physical strength to win any fight. You are a crooked politician, and you're taller than me. You may be stronger than me. And I know you have international exposure through TV and the media. But April 16th, when you step in the ring with Andy Optimal, a man who has nothing to lose and everything to gain from beating you, I can go on to realize my dreams to become Southern States Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. So, Daniel Richards, I will show you what it means to be optimal. Sunday night, April the 16th, Farmer's Market Pavilion, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee, is shaping up to be a huge night as it is every time we're at the Farmer's Market. We've already told you about the heavyweight title on the line. Marty Clay gets his shot at Lord Murphy Costigan. I will be in Marty's corner. Daniel Richards will be in Murphy's corner. Murphy, if you walk out of there the champion, 
you did it on your own because I'm not going to allow Daniel Richards to get involved. We've heard about the trash can match. Bruiser Bob and Wayne Moxley. The only way to win is to beat your opponent down and stuff him in the trash can. Andy Optimal takes on Daniel Richards. There's a huge eight-man elimination King of the Mountain match. It's going to be a huge night. And when we come back, we're going to tell you more about April the 16th in Kingsport. And you're going to see some ladies in action. Live the history, tradition, and memories on the Southern States Wrestling Network. Watch from almost any device, only $4.99 a month. New subscribers, start your free seven day trial right now. Southern States Wrestling Network. Pivotshare.com. The biggest stars, the wildest action, complete events. Classic television episodes, all on the Southern States Wrestling Network. Southern States Wrestling returns to the Farmer's Market Pavilion, 308 Clinchfield Street, downtown Kingsport, Tennessee. Sunday, April 16th with a bell time of 6.15 p.m. Two and a half hours of action featuring the stars of Southern States Legacy plus returning stars and some debuts. Make your plans now to be with us Sunday, April the 16th, Kingsport, Tennessee, Farmer's Market Pavilion. Well, Dallas, I tell you what, should be a tremendous ladies championship matchup right here. Katie O'Mock Gannon won the Southern States Wrestling Ladies Championship back in September in Manchester, Tennessee at a huge event we had there. She refuses to wear the belt. She says it stinks and smells like cigarette smoke and everything else and makes all these excuses for not wearing the title. You know, it's just very disrespectful to all the women who have held the title. But I tell you what, Celeste, this young lady right here, she's here for a fight and she's here to make a name. Yeah, look, Joe, I'm a big, firm believer in it. If you got it, flaunt it. But I think Katie, oh my Gannon, takes that to a whole nother level as we've got our first lockup here. And as you said, refusing to wear that storied title belt that so many great competitors, great women wrestlers have worn here in Southern States Wrestling. My goodness, fast-paced action right off the get-go here between Katie Gannon and Celeste, a newcomer here in Southern States. Absolutely. And I tell you what, I've seen Katie... Oh my again and wrestle on several occasions at this point and don't let that don't let that beautiful outside persona fool you this young lady can wrestle and she's an athlete she shows you right there with that kip up and uh i tell you what don't uh, don't think she's just a pretty face because she's a tough lady as well yeah you can't take anything away from her cover there and a kick out but you know this celeste we don't know much about her but but as we as we say a lot here in southern states wrestling a trainee of dr tom pritchard and 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 these two ladies they've got to have at least a little bit of familiarity both coming from that great training background so i'm really excited to see what celeste has to offer as she enters the women's division here in southern states wrestling i know katie gannon wasn't happy at all when she found out she had to wrestle her here tonight as uh Oh, Celeste right there with a high boot. And now with a leg scissors as she's dragging across that top rope. Look at this right here. And she has got Katie oh my Gannon in a lot of trouble. Celeste was able to get out of that situation well, too. More impressive action tonight. The hits don't stop. Arm drag takeover there by Celeste. And she's been really impressive so far. But, Joe, you mentioned Katie's reaction when she found out she had to defend the title here tonight. And you don't have to tell me, I was standing right there. My hearing's still a little off, I think, from, from the screech that was the initial reaction. So, you know, she might be off her game. She clearly wasn't prepared for Celeste. Celeste knew coming in that she was going to be facing Katie. So that'll be an interesting development to keep an eye on as this match goes on. Katie dropping some clubbing, clubbing forearms in reverse chin lock back. position now. She's going to just kind of wear her down, try to take away some of her fire and some of her energy as uh, – Katie, uh, I think, has ended up getting a little more of a challenge than she expected tonight. 
Absolutely. I don't think there's any question about that. And, and I think she's, uh, to her credit, talking about Katie Gannon, the ladies' champion here in Southern States Wrestling, she's seen what Celeste likes to do. She likes to fly around a little bit. She likes to, to run the ropes and, and do some things, you know, with, with some quickness. And, and Katie, all she's doing is grounding Celeste and, and just slowing her down as we've got a kick out there by Celeste. Slowing Celeste down is Katie Gannon to try and make sure that Celeste doesn't catch a, a crossbody or, or something of that nature for a quick victory and a new champion. Right, absolutely. As uh, Katie now, you can see her frustration in the ring just a few moments ago. As I don't think she realized what a fight she was in for tonight as uh, Celeste now taking it to her, got her by the arm, Irish whip across as uh, caught her with that clothesline right there coming across. Celeste now fired up, got her with another big clothesline as uh, she is here for a fight. She's here to capture that ladies' championship if she can as Katie's got her foot. Oh, but Celeste caught her with that kick right there in for a cover and Katie quickly grabbed that bottom rope. Good ring presence. A lot of resiliency there from Celeste. She hits her with the attack, couple of clotheslines, goes for the kick, Katie catches it. Katie catches that kick, but Celeste was right there. She knew exactly what to do, pushes Katie off, and she's in an offensive position as we move forward here in this match. And it looks, oh, what's what, what, what now? Oh, Katie's feet are on the rope. Oh, Katie Gannon had both feet on the ropes right there as it looks like she has stolen this victory from Celeste. Katie O'My Gannon has stolen this victory right here as Celeste is explaining to referee Jake Booth, but you know, he can only call what he sees. There you saw how Katie O'My Gannon walked out of the 32nd anniversary steal, the reigning and defending Southern States Women's Champion. Celeste gave it all, but I don't think she was expecting the underhanded tactics of Miss Gannon right there. Next week, we're going to hear from both ladies right here on this program. We're going to tell you more about April the 16th. Make sure you go to Eventbrite. Get your tickets right now. Follow us on social media so you can keep up to date on all the matches being announced, all the stuff that we announced there on Twitter, on Instagram, on Facebook. Make plans now to be there Sunday, April the 16th, bell time, 6.15 p.m., two and a half hours of action. The only way to see it all is you have to be there ringside. Next week, another big program right here with Legacy, so make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Thank you for spending part of your week with us. God bless each and every one of you.